Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, here we are again. And we've got a few colours and a black canvas. <laughs> and uh, we're all set. And I'm going to do a seascape. And I've got like these, these three. <laughs> Just these three colours. So I've got some yellow ochre. Let's take the cap off and reveal the yellow ochre. Let's have a little bit. Um, might need more, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, some permanent alizarin crimson, permanent alizarin crimson. We like that, we really do. Nice red. And we have some brown. We have some brown, some burnt umber. Burnt umber, we're gonna have some of that because uh, that can be our color for the rocks. So we're doing a seascape. We're doing a seascape. Oh yeah. <laughs> and also we need some, I feel like I'm uh, calling out some boxes or something. And in the red corner, we have some alizarin crimson. <laughs> and now we have titanium white. There we go, big tube as well. We like the big, the big tube. Use a lot of white when you're painting, so get a big tube. <laughs> you don't skimp on your white. You're going to need it. Oh, clee do, clee do. Um, let's have a look at this canvas. <laughs> oh, what we haven't done is I put masking tape on the back of the canvas to stick it to my uh, easel. And the reason why I do that is um, I don't want to cast too many shadows by using the easel top, so I tend to find if I uh, put some masking tape on the back. Should have done this before, really. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. I was so excited at the idea of doing a painting, getting the paints out and do a video. I forgot. <laughs> the first video after the new year first episode and uh, I've been a busy bee so I've not had much time to do a painting so I'm really excited to do one I pre gessoed this <laughs> and I can see a hair in it I don't want that there it's a problem if you use a brush and the hair sometimes come out and they bury themselves into the gesso. We don't want that at all. Oh, that's got it. Yeah. Okay, so stuck to the board now, so we're all good to go. And let me show you my idea. Let's use let's use a tiny bit of water and a tiny bit of white and let's let's, let's do something. <laughs> So what I'm thinking is, let's make this more wet and thin, just so it doesn't. So what? Well, yeah, <laughs> I'm so out of practice. <laughs> nah, I've been drawing uh, recently, so I'm fine. So we we'll get we're gonna have like a light area here. That'll be our light bit, and then we're gonna have light coming down here. And this could be our horizon line, somewhat like there for the sea. And then I'm going to put in like rock, rock along there, and sort of along here, some like that. And yeah, see what happens. <laughs> but like a few layers of rock or something. So we're having a, a rocky time and then we're going to have like an area of light and uh, we'll see what happens really. Um, it's just a simple idea, uh, something I wanted to have a go at. And uh, so I'm thinking, should I cover the canvas with crimson first or shall I just mix color and go for it? Mm. Mm. I think it would be helpful to have a bit of crimson on there. 
let's uh, use the old one inch brush it's a Bob Ross brush and tap into my paint tap into my crimson and we'll get a nice bit of paint on there and let's put some of that on the canvas tapping into the paint again tappy tappy tap tappy tap 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 I'll put some of this crimson in the sky so I'm thinking maybe we can start it off uh, this nice crimson colour and then we can put a bit of white and yellow ochre in the centre to create our glow good idea hey good idea I think it's a good idea we'll do that and we'll see what happens <laughs> sorry about all the noise all the knocking etc etc just one of those things comes over the painting territory. I just had that um, panic feeling when you think, did I press record? Did I press record on the cameras? Did I press record on the, uh, on the um, audio? <laughs> Couldn't think of the word then. some crimson in the water as well and of course I use crimson in the rock crimson everywhere it's gonna be a crimson painting <laughs> tempted to have uh, an area where the beach is as well when I'm looking at it we'll just have some fun with this we'll uh, experiment a little bit so today I was uh, looking at antiques and things and what I like doing when uh, going to antique places, I like looking at the paintings that are for sale, <laughs> the old pictures, because not all the best pictures are in the museums. <laughs> it's true. You see some really good uh, pictures by uh, so-called amateurs and you can learn from them in fact I bought a painting as well a really nice one and uh, I bought it because I really liked it and uh, it's really well painted and thought I could study it a little bit myself and learn from it You study from other people's pictures and get tips. Unfortunately, I can't quite afford a constable. <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Having a constable on your wall, and you can have a look, a real close look at the painting and the brush strokes and stuff, and you can have a go at copying it, <laughs> or a Van Gogh, or a Monet. Or or whichever painting painters you like imagine owning one of their pictures must be pretty good if you could anyway because they don't really want you to be uh, copying them in the museum <laughs> don't like you getting your oil paints out I know because I asked them and they said no <laughs> I'm just going to wipe my brush on a paper towel because I'm thinking I can crack on with this using the one inch brush really to get it started and then I'll go into the smaller brushes there we go, wiped uh, some yellow ochre ok, ok, ok and some white yellow ochre and white just pulling it out giving it a tap a nice even distribution of colour. I've 
still got some uh, crimson on my brush, but I'm not bothered. So I've got a nice colour here, and then I can go here and go, right, where's my bright spot? About there. That can be where the bright spot is, and then I can move outwards. Like that. A nice glow in the sky. on the paper towel just knocking a lot of the paint off really by doing that and then come back with a brush and using these little crisscross strokes saw another hair there mm. got rid of it yeah these little Crisscross strokes and blend this nicely, get it nice and soft all the way across. Okay, and now what I'm thinking is I can go a bit brighter, go a bit brighter, get some more white and yellow, give it a tap, tap in. Tapping my brush into the paint, give it a tap. Go back here. Go a bit brighter there. And then I'm thinking, of course, I want this water. From here. Get a little bit of a brightness as well. quite good action in the sky now and just move this paint a little bit soften things okay now then that gives us a good starting point <laughs> good starting point and now uh, I'm going to get some white on my brush, white and yellow, white and yellow, I'm going to create my light spot, my light source which is here, okay, use this softened brush just to soften that, yeah. So I'll do for our light spot. Now looking at it, we need to start putting in uh, some of the rocks and things. And we're using a darker, use this brush. I'm using a mixture of uh, graduate brushes, Dale Brownie ones, just grabbing a lot. Yeah, they're these ones. Hopefully you can see that. Mm. Oh. Taylor around in graduate brushes, the white handles. I like them, they're all right, they're quite cheap and they do the job. So I'm grabbing some crimson and brown, crimson and brown, and I'm gonna start putting in some like, rocky areas back here. I want a rock there. And then I want it to go up here. Yeah. 
And then what I might do, go into a little bit of light color. Create like a distant uh, mock there. Mm. We're just going to play with all this. Let's do have some fun with it. Yeah, it kind of works actually. Maybe there's a bit of a rock there. I wanted this to be quite a rocky area and uh, and I could just play <laughs> I'm just making it up but it's not a real real place <laughs> like that rock I want that rock to come there Sit back, having a look, thinking about what you want to do. Like this rock needs coming down further. Right there, maybe. Something like that. Get some uh, paint in there. Maybe then uh, go sort of there. Always sitting back, having a look. Always sitting back, having a look. See what you've got. <laughs> See what you're creating. Okay, so I'm grabbing some more of this dark color. Brown and the crimson. Gonna sort of bring that around, I think. And like that. Okay, let's have a look. So we need some more detail in the water. That's what we need. We need to start making this water look like water. <laughs> Wanna make it move a little bit. I'll get a little bit of this colour, a little bit of crimson, and start adding a bit of light in here. I don't want to go too light though, I just want to uh, give it a little bit, something like that. Yeah. Because what I'm thinking is if I start creating some light in here, then uh, I can take it a bit further with some highlights. I think I want to bring some rock here as well. Like that sort of thing. rock down to that there maybe and that can sort of flow out as well to that there I'm thinking something like that yeah so can light Okay, just sit back having a look. Quite like what's happening, it's starting to 
develop a little bit. Uh, I'm going to get some light color. I think some yellow ochre and some uh, crimson and a bit of this brown. And then touch some white in that. Tool it down a bit and we'll get our sort of a highlight color for this area. I'm going to create some highlights for this rock. Just sort of dragging the paint out. I think this I just would have a bit on this side as well. I'm going to get a bit of white in this color and just pink shing so it goes there hits there bit of it hits there hits along here so when you're using uh, no reference <laughs> you have to uh, do a lot more thinking about things. You've got to invent the lighting uh, really. Think about the way you think light would create effects on the rock. Have as much fun with it as you can enjoy yourself so that's what we do it for that's why we're painters we want to have some fun be creative there we go let's get some color on this rock as well Okay, sit back, have a look. Okay. We need more dark in places. I think there's a possibility of using the knife. across a little roll of paint and I'm gonna put some in there. I think it needs darkening. I think that's what the problem is. I don't quite like it. Let's get some black. Just sort of glancing at the camera to see what it looks like. <laughs> see if it's what I wanted. Let's just use uh, the brush. Get some black. And I want to create some dark. Yeah, I think it really, it really did need this. Just uh, brings things out a little bit. Gives it a bit more depth to it. Give it that bit of darkness. Mm -hmm. 
We might even use a bit of it on here. Okay, just sit back having a look. Sitting back having a look, always sitting back having a look. Always. <laughs> So I'm going to get some lighter colour now and I'm thinking that light would probably hit there to get a bit more. some sparkles in this area. Maybe there would be light hitting that rock there. Maybe there's a bit more light on this rock. Maybe there's a bit of light hitting there. Um, See what I mean? You, I've got to kind of make things up a little bit, <laughs> work out what you think would happen with the light as it goes ching and hits sort of areas like maybe it hits that area there, and then maybe there, maybe maybe along there. Thinking about different areas that it hits. Keep sitting back, having a look. Keep sitting back. There's a rock here. Okay. Sitting back. Having a look now, I want to uh, go one brighter, so let's grab another brush, get a bit more of that white and dot of yellow in it. Just going a little bit lighter now. I just want to be directly below this now, in the water right there. So I've got some nice, nice bit of light there. That's a bit more. Just soften that with my finger. Yeah, I think that gives us a nice. Uh, Nice look. And you can take it further, of course, the more you uh, This is a bit of a, a fun little lesson, uh, well episode, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I feel like it's a bit too light up here for me. I want to bring that away. So I'm going to put 
put some of this dark in there. Throw a bit of brown in it. I don't want it to be fully uh, red there. Uh, to be some dark. Sitting back, having a look, seeing if we're happy with what we've done. See if we can see anything that needs changing. Or always sit back. Always sit back and have a look. I'm just going to use my one inch brush just to mix this up a bit. Soften it up a bit. Sitting back. Yeah, I kind of like this. It's a little bit of fun. I want to uh, Up a little bit there. Hmm, don't really like that. Put some dark in there. Okay, yeah, I think we'll uh, I think we'll call this one finished. It's a fun little painting that you could do quite easily and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And the more I look at it, <laughs> the more I want to add things or soften things my finger and refine and refine and refine <laughs> refine to the point where you probably mess it up which is uh, <laughs> where you think mm, maybe I should stop so I think I will stop on this one I'll stop now before mm, maybe I'll put in a bird I'll put in a light bird here Yeah, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Don't know if I like those birds now. Um, but anyway, this is uh, something a little bit different, a little bit fun for you to try. And hopefully I'll see you at another episode. So thanks very much for watching. Cheers. Bye.